Courage, panache and luck. Such qualities needed to win the Tour of Flanders are undoubtedly part of the race's magic. Conquer de Ronde displaying these and a rider is likely to be anointed a Flandrian. They don't come more Flandrian than Johan Museo. The Belgian's three victories in the 1990s demonstrated his skill and understanding for this unique race. Who better then than the Lion of Flanders to dissect what makes the Tour of Flanders so special? The whole day is uh, very stressful. Uh, you have to be in a, in a one hand concentration uh, for crashes and for everything because each corner, each cobble, each hill, uh, there is something. So it's very stressful. It's maybe the, the most stressful race of the year. Part of that stress is cresting the bergs of the Flemish Ardennes, three of which hold almost mythical status in the race. While the Koppenberg, the Paterberg and the Oude Kvavermont are relatively recent additions to the race, all are today icons in the Flemish cycling tradition. It's difficult to, to have a favourite climb in the Tour uh, de Flanders. Uh, now the circuit is different than, than I won, but uh, we are here at the middle of the old Cuermo. That hill I like very much. I like it very, still very much. With three ascents of the Quavermont included in the modern form of the race, the climb has been the launch pad for many victories in recent years, including for Alberto Betiol in 2019. It's two parts. The first is a little bit steep for six burst, and afterwards it's uh, almost flat till the end. So uh, here can, yeah, here you can do something because it's, it's long and it's, and it's hard. And it's, tip, it's a little bit more like a, a section of Paris-Roubaix. It's not the steepest, uh, it's the longest, and that's a hill that you have, uh, have to take by, by your power. So I like cobblestones and I like uh, the long hills where are not so steep. So here you can get up uh, with, with the power. One climb Museo never had to contend with on his way to victory was the Koppenberg. Renowned for this incident in 1987, the Koppenbergs today feared for its savage gradients more than its race-changing potential. I don't like the Koppenberg, uh, but any rider likes it. Uh, when it's bad weather and it's raining, it's difficult to get up, even for a professional rider. You can lose the Tour de Flanders over there. You don't win the Tour de Flanders on the Koppenberg because it's, now it's uh, 45k to go. To get out alone, it's too long. Uh, and you can take, um, maybe you can take a couple seconds on that hill, but not more. Um, it wasn't my favorite and it's, it isn't my favorite now. The Paterberg only became a cobbled climb in 1986 when a local farmer dug up the tarmac and laid cobbles on the climb in the hope it would attract the race. The plan worked and today the climb represents one of the last points on which to make a winning move and drop your rivals. You have to climb on the Patersberg in, in the middle, like the, like the riders. Then, it, then you feel it, how it is to, to climb and how hard and how steep he, the, the Patersberg is. He is short but very steep. Um, you climb um, 45, 50 seconds. That's not so long. You can go full on the Patersberg if you have still the, the power in the legs. Um, and now in the new uh, circuit, it's the last hill of the race. While the order of the race may have shifted since Museo's time, one thing remains constant. Surge to victory through all the race throws at you, and you can become a Flandrian. I don't think you have to be from Belgium. Uh, you can be from Italy or from anywhere else, from the UK, uh, to become a Flandrian. If you come here and you win the races here and you win to the Flanders and you win as with a special uh, manure, then you become a hero. You don't have to be uh, beautiful on the bike. Uh, you don't have to wear a beautiful helmet or beautiful sunglasses. 
but you have to win uh, to the Flanders. Uh, so otherwise, you're not a Flanderia for me.